Let's look at this week in digital policy that matters to us. This is DV Shorts. First, let's travel to India, where a Punjab and Haryana High Court used an artificial intelligence chatbot to determine the bail in a murder case. Not to make the decision if someone is guilty, but just to determine if the accused should be granted the bail until the court trial. India puts a lot of efforts into integrating artificial intelligence to its courts. AI systems are trained using official court documents going back 40 years. Imagine the experience. It's like the court employee that could recall every detail of every case ever held. Wait, so basically when you reach an high level of experience, you go to pension. Such a waste of experience. Anyhow, in Italy, they are not so impressed by the artificial intelligence chatbots. They are more concerned about the data that is used for training. The Italian Data Protection Authority ordered an immediate ban of the now famous chat GPT. They argue that there is no legal basis for the massive collection and processing of the personal data of their fellow Italians. OpenAI, company which created chat GPT, has 20 days to notify them of its measures of, to comply with this order or otherwise a fine of up to 20 million euros or 4% of the worldwide annual turnover may be imposed. According to the Business Insider report, OpenAI is currently valued at about $29 billion and they generated zero revenue last year. Therefore, this fine must be paid cash. So if they lost 700 or so, those court cases, that would be a half of the company's value. Is monetary penalty the best way to go for AI regulation? Does it maybe create the false sense of protection? Why will it actually put an affordable price tag on our life? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Do you know how dangerous sharks can be for the internet? Yes, real sharks like in Jaws. Take a look at this video. Catch your updates at dig.watch and see you next week.